Hello viewers, I'm going to speak briefly on how to define yourself correctly. Is it not funny how we go through school for many years and learn several definitions? We learn about chemistry, we learn how to define physics, we learn about astrology, we learn how to define geography and geology. But in all of this, no one ever teaches us how to define ourselves. And this brings me to the concept of defining oneself correctly. What does it mean to define yourself correctly? It simply means to answer the question, who am I and why am I here? And in this brief talk, I want to just give you some pitfalls that people get into in trying to define themselves. In other words, I'm going to tell you how not to define yourself and pitfalls that you shouldn't be a victim of in defining yourself. Number one, people define themselves by their jobs. And this is a very big pitfall. Never define yourself by a job that you have or do not have because you are not what you do. What you do is not who you are. But in the long run, who you are would translate into what you do if you get your self-definition correctly. Never define yourself by your formal education. Never define yourself by a degree that you have or do not have because you are much more than the degree. You are much more than the certificate. Even when you didn't do or perform um, optimally by the standard of that examination, you have so much more to offer than what your result says. Much the same way, you are more than your certificate even when you perform excellently. Even when you came out the best in class, you still have much more in you that can be tapped into if you define yourself correctly and you, you choose not to be a victim of that pitfall of defining yourself by your formal education. I have no appetite and I have nothing against formal education. I'm a fan of getting the best of education, but the truth is that you must not fall victim to defining yourself by whatever formal education that you have accomplished or that you do not have. Lastly, never compare yourself with another person. This is one very big pitfall that many persons fall victim of. They compare themselves with other people and they begin to look down on themselves based on the results other people are getting. People are also tempted to compare themselves with people when it seems like they are not doing well and those people are doing well. They all fail to recognize that when you're doing well or you seem to be succeeding in a particular area, it's simply because you have discovered your area of smartness, your area of competitive advantage. When you discover that you are smart in your own way, no one is smarter than you. And so you must never define yourself by comparing yourself with other people, whether you are better or not better than them. All you have to do is discover that area where you are smartest and invest your time and resources in that area. You will learn to stop comparing yourself with another. And that way, you will define yourself correctly. If you put all these things in place, you would begin to develop the best definition of yourself and you would have the right self-concept. I'm going to stop here for now, but just go home with this and know that your self-definition is very, very important in determining how much you would become influential, how much you will become affluential and powerful in your nation. I still remain your leadership coach your best-selling author, and my name is Ireda Fenebesho Owolabi. See you next time.